Hello, welcome to Spin with Nature. I'm Gary. We've got a pretty good project going on right now. Uh, I've recently acquired this 45 caliber Kentucky Long Rifle CVA, and uh, it's, it was a kit that somebody had started. And I feel a lot of anger when I pick up this gun. A lot of frustration, a lot of anger. Uh, you can see it in parts of it. Uh, the butt plate's the biggest, pretty loose. They've uh, put a shim in here. I don't know if they trimmed this down too much or what's going on, so we're gonna have to dig into that. Um, and then the, we got a brass piece of goose on the bottom. It's not supposed to be protruded that far. Uh, it's a nice gun, it's solid. Uh, it's got a lot of belt sander marks on it where they have rough carved it out and said good enough. I'm not sure if we got maple or, or if we have walnut on here. So uh, that's gonna be another thing we'll find out. The barrel's in good shape, 45, a little surface rust inside. Uh, it's not pitted. I don't even know that it's been shot. It doesn't seem to be. Uh, it just seems like it's a white barrel. Um, the plans is I'm going to do some inlays on this after I get everything fitted in and get it tightened up a little bit. I'll do a, a couple inlays on this and rather than uh, subject you to the non-stop continuous fast motion, I'm just going to work on this gun and I'll come back and show you the progress. So uh, when you're looking at it, it'll probably be like six minutes for me it's probably going to be about three weeks we'll take the barrel and the hardware off clean them all sand them emery cloth uh, everything's going to have a brown finish on it the uh which is, you have two choices you can have blue i'm going with the brown it's more of a traditional finish and uh, that appeals to me a lot more so stick around and we'll see how this goes All right, so into the first day, that's what we got. We got the barrel. Uh, this barrel is white. It's never been treated. So uh, I'm waiting on some brown finish, and this is going to be brown. So the stock, a uh, little easier than I thought it did. As you can see, I got the, uh, the butt plate. I got that to set down. It's flush now. Can't tell you my secrets. <laughs> Wasn't easy. But... Uh, Got the brass plate in the bottom and got that in there. Got it all profiled. Uh, this plate here, I had to take that down to get that to fit. And also, but where the lock sets, I had to sand that. This here was the hard part. I had two different uh, heights here. And like I said, it looks like they sanded this separate and this was tapered. So when I got to this brass plate, they stopped it and they put that stock on. I had to go really slow, make sure not to take too much wood off that. But um, this is as close as I'm going to get it for now. And it's just hard to, some screw ups, it's hard to fix. I, I went ahead and I tapered in right here to the throat of this. That's where the cap's going to sit. And uh, I'll just show you here. The, oops, I'll turn around right there. So that's where the cap's going to sit. And now it's going to be flush. So that turned out pretty sweet. Uh, I got parts coming for it. Uh, the finish, the ammo, powder, the good stuff. Uh, I think the barrel's going to be next. I just took us down. I emery clothed it uh, with a really super fine grit. Now I'm going to put some uh, rust remover in it inside the barrel on the outside to protect it. And then we're going to move on from there. We put that barrel on there. So what we got now. Turned out pretty sweet. Yeah, put that sexy end cap on there. Bam, look at that. So I'm ready to shoot this. It's going to be exciting. Uh, a lot of stuff to do yet to it. Uh, the barrel has never been pinned in place. So I'm going to do that. And uh, I'm going to dress it up, put a little bling on it. I got my thoughts here. I'm working on that. It's going to be pretty sweet. I did find out when I took it apart the trigger guard was broke. But not a problem. I got skill. I got mad skills. <laughs> so we're going to... Do some more of this, and then I'll show you how it progresses. This is probably enough for one day. It's my day off. I'm going to enjoy it. So we'll see you in a little bit. <clears throat> well, there's the finished product. Uh, a lot of work. I uh, put this little engraving in it. It's not a. It's actually an inlay. It's not engraving. I uh, also put this on the end. So. That turned out kind of stylish. I made this my own rifle. Uh, sanded this down. It was maple underneath. And uh, I started out with 120 grit. 
got it all contoured, got the pieces fitting, and uh, this here was the hard one. And uh, after that, went to 220, and then finished up 2000. And uh, it's coated. Uh, I've used water after I got done with that, I took water over it, and then sanded it again with the 2000. And after that, it was stained. Uh, one coat of stain, let it set, and use the Minwax uh, Unique Brand Walnut. Yeah, special walnut. And that, that turned out pretty well. I like the way it, it the, the tint that it put in. The, the final coat was just some boiled linseed oil, rubbed it in by hand, and got it soaked in really well. Uh, the barrel, I would use the plum brown on it. Yeah, the choices are brown. Or blue and on the, the browns traditional so that's what I did. I had to add a, uh, a lug here for the ramrod. Also had to add a ramrod. Didn't have that. So now I got a ramrod. I got one of the lugs in place. Uh, the nose I contoured up here to get the cap to fit in. I just I sanded this down right through here. And I had to move that lug back to do that. But turned out really well. Got the lines to all the lines flow evenly now. Uh, this tail stock, which was a mess, it's bolted firmly now, and I had to bevel out the screws. Use bigger ones to set flush, and then uh, use the 2000s to shine the brass. The bottom brass plate, I had to use the file to get that to mold and melt together. There was, somebody put a lot of work into it, just the wrong places. So. Um, Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll give you this side profile. It's getting shine up the brass. Look at that. Look at that. So, that gun's complete. Uh, I had to pin the barrel, which uh, the beauty of these pieces. Oop, I got a pin there. And, yeah, right there's the other pin. So, uh, a little bit of math there. That was, that was rough. We got through it. So this project's done for now. <clears throat> and I want to thank Ashley Anderson for selling me the gun. <laughs> Here's the next one. This is the uh, Sears and Roebuck 8, 1908 Damascus Twist Barrel. Um, I'm guessing walnut stocks on it. Uh, my nephew Brady Michael sold me this. And uh, well, he gave it to me, but I paid him for it. <laughs> don't even ask so this could be the next project gun and uh, I think I'll, I'll shed a little more in between of what I did and how I done it um, some of the videos get pretty long and just even with speeding it up it's just long I just like to jump between it there and that's what we'll do with this so uh, Damascus twist barrel walnut stock 1908 Sears and Roebuck it was made by a AJ somebody I'm going to look at it up a little more. So next project, and I'll show you that one. So I'm Gary, Michael, Spooning with Nature, Northeast Indiana. Thank you for watching.